In today's video, we are going to dive deep into the world of secure coding practices. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, mastering secure coding is crucial to protect your applications from vulnerabilities and ensure the safety of your users' data. So let's explore the 10 best practices and common mistakes to avoid when it comes to secure coding. Mastering Secure Coding Practices 10 Best Practices and Common Mistakes to Avoid Before we begin, it's important to understand the significance of secure coding. Secure coding is all about writing code that can withstand attacks, prevent unauthorized access, and ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of sensitive information. It is a proactive approach that reduces the risk of vulnerabilities and strengthens the overall security posture of your application. So let's jump into the first best practice. Number one, validate and sanitize input. One of the most common security vulnerabilities arises from inadequate input validation. Always validate and sanitize user input to prevent various attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and command injection. Use secure coding frameworks and libraries to simplify this process and ensure that the input is within expected bounds. Number two, implement strong authentication. Authentication is the first line of defense against unauthorized access. Utilize strong authentication mechanisms such as multi-factor authentication, strong password policies, and secure session management. Hash and salt passwords to protect them from being exposed in case of a data breach. Number three, protect data in transit and at rest. It's essential to protect sensitive data both during transmission and when stored. Use secure protocols like HTTPS slash TLS to encrypt data in transit, preventing eavesdropping and tampering. Additionally, encrypt stored data using strong encryption algorithms to safeguard against unauthorized access in case of a breach. Number four, follow the principle of least privilege. Following the principle of least privilege ensures that each component of your application has only the necessary permissions to perform its intended function. Avoid giving excessive privileges to users or components, as this can lead to the escalation of attacks and increase the potential impact of a security breach. Number five, keep software and libraries updated. Outdated software and libraries are often riddled with security vulnerabilities. Regularly update your software components, frameworks, and libraries to their latest versions. Stay informed about security patches and apply them promptly to ensure you have the most secure code base possible. Number six, implement secure error handling. Proper error handling can prevent information leakage and protect your application from being exploited. Avoid revealing sensitive information in error messages and logs. Instead, provide meaningful error messages that do not disclose internal system details. Number seven, use prepared statements or parameterized queries. Host, SQL injection attacks are a prevalent vulnerability in web applications. By using prepared statements or parameterized queries, you can prevent attackers from injecting malicious SQL code into your queries. This technique ensures that user input is treated as data, not executable code. Number eight, securely manage session and cookies. Session management plays a critical role in web application security. Generate secure session IDs, store them securely, and enforce session timeouts. Use secure cookies with the secure and het Ponly flags to prevent session hijacking and cross-site scripting attacks. Number nine, conduct regular security testing. Security testing is an integral part of secure coding. Perform regular vulnerability assessments, penetration testing, and code reviews to identify and fix any security flaws. Automated testing tools and manual code inspections can help you discover vulnerabilities that may have been overlooked continuing during the development process. These proactive measures can help you identify and rectify potential security issues before they are exploited by malicious actors. Number 10. Implement proper input and output validation. Properly validate and sanitize all input and output in your application. Validate user input to ensure it meets the expected format, length, and range. Likewise, sanitize output to prevent cross-site scripting attacks and other forms of code injection. By implementing robust input and output validation, you can significantly reduce the risk of security vulnerabilities. 
Number 1. Hard-coding sensitive information. One common mistake developers make is hard-coding sensitive information, such as passwords or API keys, directly into the code. This practice poses a significant security risk, as anyone with access to the code can easily extract and misuse that information. Instead, store sensitive data in secure configuration files or use environment variables. Number 2. Ignoring Error Handling Neglecting proper error handling is another common mistake that can lead to security breaches. When errors occur, it's crucial to handle them gracefully without disclosing sensitive information. Avoid displaying detailed error messages that could provide attackers with valuable insights into your system's vulnerabilities. Number 3. Insufficient Input Validation Failing to validate user input adequately is a dangerous mistake. Without proper input validation, your application becomes vulnerable to various attacks, including SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and buffer overflow. Always validate and sanitize user input to ensure it adheres to the expected format and doesn't introduce security risks. Number 4. Insecure Direct Object References Insecure direct object references occur when an application exposes internal object references, such as database keys or file names, to users. Attackers can manipulate these references to gain unauthorized access to restricted resources. To avoid this, implement proper access controls and avoid exposing internal references directly to users. Number 5. Lack of regular updates and patching. Failing to keep your software components and libraries up to date is a significant security risk. Software updates often include critical security patches that address known vulnerabilities. By neglecting updates and patching, you leave your application exposed to exploits that have already been patched by the developers. Best practices for regular updates and patching. Stay informed. Keep yourself updated with the latest security vulnerabilities and patches relevant to the programming languages, frameworks, and libraries you are using. Subscribe to security mailing lists, follow security blogs, and join developer forums to stay informed about potential vulnerabilities and available patches. Apply updates promptly. As soon as a security update or patch is released by the software vendors or open source community, apply it to your software as soon as possible. Delaying updates increases the window of opportunity for attackers to exploit known vulnerabilities. Establish patch management processes. Implement a robust patch management process within your organization. This process should include regular assessments of the software components you use, identifying security updates, prioritizing patches based on their criticality, and testing patches before deployment. Automate updates. Automate the process of checking for updates and applying patches whenever possible. Utilize package managers or update frameworks specific to your programming language or platform to streamline the process and ensure regular updates. Test after applying patches. After applying patches, thoroughly test your software to ensure that the updates have not introduced any new bugs or compatibility issues. Regression testing and security testing should be performed to validate the effectiveness of the applied patch. Conclusion. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Computer Hackers for more informative content on technology and programming. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments section below. Until next time, happy coding and stay secure.